Alrighty, what is going on everybody in today's video breakdown it's going to be a bit of a different styled video breakdown something that has been requested for me both on the x space and with inside the private cyprax community and that is me sharing why i am investing in stronghold or ticker symbol shx so overall what i look for in a cryptocurrency project when i'm investing is that they have a strong team strategic partnerships and they have innovative use cases along with low market cap opportunities now the team overall is led by ceo tammy camp and she has recognized expertise and awards in the crypto and blockchain space and then also stronghold has direct collaborations with industry leading experts like ibm showcasing growth potential in the future moving forward also stronghold is transforming cross-border payments with real-time transactions addressing market needs which definitely shows real world value and use case for massive future potential and then last but not least despite its innovative tech stronghold still has a low market cap which in my personal opinion offers the potential for significant upside during this next bull market cycle so if you enjoy these video breakdowns do us a favor smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the platform we do appreciate the love and the support this video breakdown is going to be more oriented towards those individuals who know nothing about stronghold and have done no research on this specific project enlightening you as to why i am personally investing in this crypto now remember that the vast majority of this information dates all the way back till 2021 up until now so some of it could be repetitive if you've already done research on the specific crypto project but let's jump in so overall as an investor the decision to allocate resources in my personal opinion requires comprehensive understanding of the market landscape technological advancements and regulatory compliance now in the realm of fintech one of the companies that stood out to me for its groundbreaking innovations and unwavering commitment to regulatory standards was stronghold which was mentioned in our private Cyprax group chat some time ago, and I have finally taken an uptick in doing some research on it. So overall, the team is led by visionary CEO Tammy Camp, who just recently won the Woman in Payments Innovation Award and has also established herself as a pioneer in the payments industry through strategic partnerships and solutions. Now, if you go to the Women in Payments Innovation Award website, you can see that they are funded by large financial institutions like JP Morgan, Visa, and MasterCard. So in my personal opinion, this is definitely something that I like to see when I'm doing research on the team behind a specific project. Another key factor driving stronghold success is its partnership with tech giant IBM. We know that 80% of the world's financial infrastructure runs on an IBM mainframe. Like it or not, 85% of the world's payments still run through a, an IBM mainframe. With direct partnerships and integration into IBM Worldwire, Stronghold facilitates real-time cross-border transactions, which revolutionized the traditional three to five day settlement period. By leveraging IBM's existing network, Stronghold's USD settlement vehicle, transactions occur with unprecedented speed and security. This collaboration underscores the confidence that industry leaders have in Stronghold's capabilities. Stronghold wants to provide a better financial infrastructure that would reach both the underbanked uh, population as, as well as cater for some of the larger organisations. One of the big problems is we've introduced a, a whole heap of new currencies that people don't know how to use, uh, they don't even know what they are. What Stronghold wants to do and is doing is taking existing currencies and making those as tokens on top of blockchain technologies. So what we are now able to do is move around these units of value as though they were another cryptocurrency, but they're actually stable. They're based on a traditional sovereign currency that everyone will understand already. Stronghold and IBM have been collaborating together on the Stronghold US dollar, which is a stable coin that has been introduced into IBM's Worldwide network. This particular technology is disruptive because it enables us to get payments to people in, in the middle of nowhere effectively in seconds, not hours or days as the case might be. So that's a game changer because it allows people to not have to hold their funds necessarily with the large financial institutions. Furthermore, Stronghold's compliance with industry regulations including SOC Type 2 certification and NACHA audit compliance showcases its dedication to protecting user data and ensuring safe transactions. We all know that we are entering into an era where data security and regulatory adherence 
are becoming paramount. Stronghold's commitment to best practices sets it apart as a trusted partner in the financial ecosystem. Now, if you're not too familiar with what these certifications are, just to go over a quick run through of what they are, the definition of SOC type 2 certification validates a company's adherence to stringent criteria for data security, availability, processing integrity, confidentiality, and privacy through independent audits over a specific period. The important thing to note is that this is not mandatory, but it is highly desirable for companies handling sensitive data. It serves as a third-party validation of a company's commitment to data security, which overall provides assurance to clients and partners about the safety and protection of their data. The second thing is the NACHA audit compliance. Now, by definition, the NACHA audit compliance ensures that a company's processes related to ACH transactions align with NACHA's regulations. NACHA oversees the ACH network, facilitating financial transactions in the United States. Often talk about how we provide ACH payments and get a blank stare. Then we explain ACH, and once the merchant gets it, their eyes light up. Let me give you the really short version first. ACH is how we make payments that don't involve the card networks. ACH, which stands for Automated Clearing House, is the largest and oldest payment system in the US. It isn't exactly a household word, but many of us already depend on it. Believe it or not, the ACH network processed over $18 trillion in payments last quarter. That's trillion with a T. For context, the ACH network is over five times larger than the Visa network. It's how a direct deposit paycheck gets to an employee's checking account. It's how you may have authorized a utility company to make automated bill payments. If you send a Venmo payment to a friend with no fee, likely over ACH. It's how depository institutions, banks or credit unions, settle transactions between themselves. I think of it as payments stripped down to the bare bones, the real rails for moving money. Now, the importance of having compliance with natural rules and regulations is it's crucial for companies participating in the ACH network. Non-compliance can lead to financial penalties, things like reputational damage, and suspension from the ACH transaction network. NACHA rules govern transaction limits, authorization requirements, and dispute resolution procedures ensuring the integrity and security of the overall network. So just take into consideration that Stronghold has both of these things, which I also found very interesting, considering the fact that we are about to enter into an extreme regulatory environment where the vast majority of digital assets that aren't working with regulators in our regulatory compliance will most likely fade away. Now, in 2023, last year, we saw the recent launch of StrongholdNet, which further solidified its position as an innovator in the fintech space. By leveraging blockchain technology, StrongholdNet enables businesses to access financing options with increased ease and efficiency. These expansions not only empower merchants, but also promote financial inclusivity by bridging the gap between traditional banking services and cutting-edge payment technology that is on the verge of mass adoption. Moreover, Stronghold supports the ISO 222 standard, which underscores its overall commitment to interoperability and connectivity in the business world. By adhering to global standards, Stronghold ensures seamless integration into existing financial infrastructures, which overall facilitates greater efficiency and transparency. Now, last but not least, investing in Stronghold, in my personal opinion, represents more than just a financial opportunity. You all need to take it upon yourself to do your own research. Again, in my personal opinion, it signifies a vote of confidence in a company that is at the forefront of innovation and compliance in the payments industry. With a track record of success so far, strategic partnerships, and commitment to excellence, Stronghold, in my personal opinion, will continue to redefine the future of cross-border payments and financial services. Now, I usually don't like to give price predictions, and I'm not by any means, but if you consider doing research on this project and you go into the rabbit hole as to what ACH is and how much money they actually process and how much they processed last year, which I believe was over $18 trillion annually, take that into consideration that Stronghold is partnered with them. If you head over to thecoinperspective.com and you take Dogecoin, a meme coin, just as an example with an $11 billion market cap, and you situate that on Stronghold, you get the valuation of around $2 per Stronghold token. Now, take that into consideration that Stronghold right now is less than a penny. 
and its market cap is only $29 million, and they are set to revolutionize FX payments, cross-border settlement, and overall transactions in the financial system. This is not a price prediction video breakdown, and I'm not telling you guys that $2 in the future could happen. But when I'm investing in a cryptocurrency project, I look for these themes. A solid team, solid partnerships, and a low market cap gem that has the potential for massive upside, especially considering that we are about to enter into an institutional era of mass adoption. Many blessings to you guys. I hope that you all enjoyed this video breakdown. I'm not telling you all to go out there and invest in Stronghold. I'm also letting you all know that investing in cryptocurrencies is very high risk. And in my personal portfolio, I have a little bit more wiggle room to take on more risk via my personal investment portfolio. You need to take all of those things into consideration and do your own research before investing in any digital asset across the board. Many blessings to you guys. If you enjoyed this quick video breakdown, do us a favor, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe. We do appreciate the love and the support. Stronghold is officially in my portfolio. I don't know if I'm going to do any more deep dives on this digital asset. Maybe in this private Cyprex community, I will send information to our private Cyprex channel. Other than that, on the Cyprex YouTube, I think I'm going to stick to the normal way of doing video breakdowns, but I hope you all did enjoy this one. As always, be cognizant, be aware out there, and I'll see you all in the next video breakdown. Mm -hmm.